Hi everyone, this is the second part of the atomic mass video. In the first part, I discussed the concept of atomic mass, why we need it, and how we measure it using mass spectrometry, as well as the convention that we use to determine the reference mass, which is 1 12th of the mass of a carbon-12 isotope. In this video, I'm going to discuss additional concepts related to atomic mass, which is the average mass and the molecular mass. As you might remember from the first video, I showed you a mass spectrum of a sample of neon, which looks like this. And as you can see, for neon, you have, in this case, three different isotopes. One uh, with a mass about 20 atomic mass unit, another one with about mass of 21 AMU, and another one with a mass of about 22. And as you can see here, they all have different abundances. So as a result, when we work with a sample of neon, all three isotopes are present, in which case the mass of the neon atom that we have is really a combination of all three masses with their abundances. So instead of showing the mass of just one isotope or another isotope, we would say that the mass of the neon atom is an average of all of these masses that uh, are expressed by the isotope and their percent abundances. When we express it this way, this is what we refer to as the average atomic mass. And again, the way you calculate this is the following. You would use the sum of each isotopic mass. In the case of neon, it will be 20, 21, and 22. And each of those masses would then be multiplied by their percent abundance. And then you're going to add all of these numbers together to give you the average mass. So here's an example of how this works. In this example, we have chlorine, which has two isotopes, chlorine 35, which actually has a mass of 34.9689 AMU when determined using a mass spec, and chlorine 37, which has a mass of 36.9659 AMU. Now, if the abundance of these two isotopes is 75.78% for the 35 uh, chlorine isotope, and I should note that here's a typo, this should all both of them be chlorine, and then the um, 37 chlorine isotope has an abundance of 24.22%, what is the average mass of a sample of chlorine atom? Okay, so that's what we're going to do a calculation of in the next uh, part. Okay, so here I'm going to be doing the calculation for example one uh, whose problem was just shown in the previous slide. I'm going to start with the formula for average mass, which is, remember, it's just the mass of each of the isotope multiplied by its percent abundance. In the problem that we have, we have two isotopes. One is chlorine 35, which actually has a mass of 34.9689 AMU. And we're going to multiply that by, by its percent abundance, which is 75.78%. Now remember that 70% really means 75.78 over 100. So that's the first part of the problem. And then the second one, of course, is the second isotope, which is chlorine 37. And that has an actual mass of 36.9659. I'm going to skip the MU here just for so that I have enough space. Uh, multiply that by your percent abundance for that isotope, which is 2422. And of course, this is percent, so it's over 100. And then what you want to do then is you want to be able to um, calculate this in a calculator to show what the answer would be. So in this case, I'm going to uh, run through this on a calculator to see what these answers are. So if I were to multiply 34.9689 times 75.78, what I get is on one side 26.4994. This is expressed in AMU because uh, that's what the unit is. And then the other one is 
point nine six five nine and that multiply by twenty four point twenty two divided by a hundred gives me eight point nine five three AMU and then what I have uh, at the end now you can actually in this case you know use the appropriate sig fig if you want if I want to do appropriate sig fig here then I would add a couple more because I have six sig fig in the original um, mass so it will be 8.95314 I'm just gonna add these two numbers right here for sig fig purposes and then what I do is just add these two numbers together this one with the 26.4994 and then what I get is a mass that's 35.4525 AMU so that would be the average mass of my chlorine sample in this case so I just want to point out that number that we just calculated, 35.4525, is what uh, is the mass that's listed in the periodic table. Whether you have the periodic table in the lecture hall or some other periodic table you can consult in a textbook or somewhere else. So here, for example, is a periodic table that I found online. And as you can see for chlorine, it shows a number of 35.453, so they rounded off to 5 sig fig in this case but you can see that that's what it, the mass of um, the average mass of chlorine is it's not exactly 35 or 37 but it's actually 35.453 that's what we refer to as the average mass and that's the one that's listed in uh, uh, any periodic table that you consult okay now that you are uh, understand how to make this average mass calculation the last concept I want to talk about is molecular mass so molecular mass is the mass of molecules uh, and that is to be differentiated from the mass of atoms right so atoms combine to form molecules so if you want to know the mass of a molecule or ion the only thing you have to do is just add the mass of all the atoms of all the elements in the molecule or the ion so for example let's say you're interested in the mass of CH4 this is a gas that we call methane so I just type that name in there. You'll see this name quite often, so I want you to actually memorize this or remember that the formula of methane is CH4. If you look at uh, methane, the mass of methane will just depend on the mass of the carbon atom it has there and then the hydrogen atoms that it has there. And since we have one carbon atom, I'm going to add the mass of one carbon atom plus the mass of four hydrogen atoms. Each carbon atom comes as 12 AMU, remember. Uh, you can look this up in the periodic table. Um, in the mass of the hydrogen atom each one of them is 1 AMU so when you add the 12 plus the 4 times 1 what you get is 16 AMU okay so this type of calculation would be something you'll do quite often um, to determine the mass of molecules um, notice that what we use here to add these masses together is the average mass so it would be the mass you'll uh, look up in the periodic table to get into the mass of the uh, molecule same thing if you're referring to an ion notice that if for example if I'm interested in the mass of um, sulfate ion SO42- minus in this case then the only thing I have to care about is just the mass of the elements which is S and 4 oxygen each uh, sulfur is 32 AMU and then uh, each oxygen is 16 AMU so when you add all of those together what you get is 96 AMU okay now you notice that we really don't care that in this case the sulfate ion uh, has gained two additional electrons because remember that the mass of electrons are generally a lot uh, you know it's about 1800 times lighter than the mass of either a proton or a neutron so as a result we tend to just ignore the mass of the electron so whether you're calculating cations or anions you assume the mass to be about the same as the mass of the atom okay so that's why you only look at the elements in here okay so uh, this material should allow you to complete the quiz that's uh, right next to that's listed right next to the videos um, and it's really just meant to kind of test your understanding of the two videos whether you understand the concepts that's illustrated there and maybe do one simple problem or two simple problems on atomic mass